back to Korea Solution Academy. Uh, don't forget to share our video. We have a lot of videos for you. You know, this channel is a channel that you can learn any area of math, physics, chemistry without the stress. And so on, even coding. If you want to learn coding, I advise to come here also. Um, I have a problem, you know, being shared by you know, one of my students. Okay, my name. Now, I, given that f of x equals to this, find the factor, the factor of the f of x, <laughs> factor of f of x, factor of f of x. Now, listen to me, this is a polynomial of degree 3. How do I factorize it? You know, it's a very simple one. What you just need to do is that uh, take note of this very important information. That works for everything. Now, I will look at it. This is a factor. Now, my f of x equals to x cubed, 2x squared, 5x minus 6. Now, I will look for a number that this will be equal to 0, that the function will be equal to 0. The number, how do I, you can't just pick any number. Now, you will come here, look at this particular place. The factor of this last digits, which is going to be last term, don't forget that I can write my 6 raised power 0. It's not a problem, you know. Okay. Now, I can, I will look for this. The number, look at this number, the factor of this number, what are the factor of this number? Factor, factor of 6 will be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6 himself. Now, the root of this equation is embedded here. It's embedded here. Now, look at it. If I want to do it very well, I will just look for out for, um, I will look out for what can I do that, um, for instance, if I start from f of, if I start from f of 1, f of 1 here, I will come here by saying 1 q minus 2 bracket of 1 squared, 5 bracket of 2, I mean 1 rather, minus 6. This is going to be 1 minus 2 minus 5 minus 6. This can never be equal to 0. Therefore, 1, 1 plus 1 is not a what? Factor of, of, I mean, sorry, therefore, x minus 1 is not, because this is a factor now, sorry. If I have x equals to 1, that will form a root, is not f of what? Now, that is number 1. I will move on, let me move on to the f of what? When my x equals to minus 1, it means, therefore, it will be x minus plus 1. You know, this is a factor now. Let's try to work on it. It means f of minus 1 will be equals to bracket of minus 1 cube plus minus, sorry, minus 2 bracket of minus 1 squared, 5 bracket of minus 1, 6. This is going to be minus 1. That will be minus 2. And here will be plus 5 minus 6. Now, mind you, mind you, when I do this thing together, 2, 5, this is going to be 2, this is going to be plus 2, rather. Oh, hope I'm, I'm making a mistake from the question. This is going to be plus, sorry. This is going to be plus. The question says it's plus, sorry. Now, if this is plus 2, it means it will be equals to 0. Therefore, 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 x minus, I mean, x equals to minus 1. x plus 1 is a what? Factor of f of x. That's just it. It means x minus is a what? It's a factor. Now, I've gotten one factor out of 3. It must be a 3. The more the power, the more the, you know, the power, the higher the power, the more the factor. I'm having the highest value, the highest uh, degree of the variable, or no variable is what, three. I'm to have three factor here. One is given to me. Now, I write, what do I do without one? I'll bring one plus one. 
I will put my x cube plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Now, I will run through. This is called divisor, dividend, quotient, and remainder. Now, it means the first thing is 3 all over s, which is going to be s squared. Now, that my s squared, I will use to multiply plus 1, which is going to be what? s cubed plus s squared. Now, I will minus, which it will be 0. This one will be what? x squared. Now, bring down this particular one, which will be what? 5x. Now, I'll move on to the next one. It means x squared divided by x. It will be what? x. Now, that will be plus x. Plus x. Now, that plus s, bracket of s plus 1, which will be x squared plus x. I'll move on by saying this also minus. Minus. Which I'll be having the zero. This one will be what? Minus 6x. Now, this will come down now. Which will be what? It will be minus 6. The last part of this, which will be um, minus 6x divided by what? X. This divided by this. Which will be what? Minus 6. I will put my minus 6 here. Now, my minus 6 bracket of x plus 1, which will be minus 6x minus 6, minus 6x minus 6. Now, minus will be here. This will definitely be 0 and 0. Now, the remainder is 0. Thank God for that. Remainder, which is going to be 0. Now, our divisor, divisor, and our quotient. Sorry, let me put the quotient. And here is dividend. 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 Mind you, my divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder, it will be equals to dividend. Please take note of that very well. Now, successfully, I've factorized. I want to factorize. I've done part of the factorization. Now, off my board, my camera can get to that part. Okay, I can manage it. Hmm. It's not manageable. Let me clean it. Now, permit me to rub this part. You can see I'm not just picking any other, any number, anyhow. Now, I will not come here by saying that uh, my this plus one is one of the factor. It's not the what the dividend, which will be what I mean divide so sorry, quotient s squared minus six. It will definitely be equals to what plus zero. It will definitely be equals to what dividend. Now, I've successfully factorized this. It will be equals to s cube plus two s squared minus five x minus six. Take note of that. Now, for me to move on now. It means, let me factorize this, s plus 1, now it will be x and uh, that will be plus 3, now it will be s squared, okay, plus 3x minus 2x minus 6, I'm just trying to factorize. Now, it will be x bracket of x plus 3. It will be minus 2x minus 2 bracket of x plus 3. Now, x plus 1. And here will not be x minus 2. Here will not be x plus 3. Now, this is called the factor. S is a factor. Now, root, it means S will be equals to minus 1. S is equals to 2. S is equals to minus 3. These are called roots. Now, what am I trying to explain to you? This is a factor. This is a root. The question requested for what? The factor. This is a factor. Now, 
you can see when I was explaining this matula part, when I was explaining this part, can you see that the root, I mean the factor of the what, or the root of the given um, equation, which is this expression, is all buried here. One, we have gotten one, plus or minus one. Minus one is there. Okay, we have gotten two. Two is there, and uh, minus three is there. Can you see? That was what I was telling you that time. It's always buried in it. And uh, when you are to plot the graph of this function, if you want to plot it, you can plot it when your y equals to what? Uh, s cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. You can plot at this point. Because for you to plot a graph, you must have two variables, dependent variable and independent variable. Now, and uh, don't forget your x is always declared. You know, taking the value of x from minus or so, so. Now, you are to plot it to be plot like this. Um, you know, I, I'm not finding the maximum point. I won't find that. I'm just sketching how it will be. It means minus s is minus one. It means the first one will be cut off from x minus one, and s is what two. Twenty five part will be here. It's going to be two, and x is going to be what minus three. Now minus three will be somewhere here. Minus three. Minus three. Now can you see? This is how the quadratic. I mean the graph will. The nature of the graph will be. Uh, can calculus help us to find the turning point, maximum and minimum? You, you can see math is very simple here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.